Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we're gonna to take a look at some of the new Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. So every year, around December, January, Chanel releases new shades of the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. Typically, they are going to be in limited edition packaging with limited edition shades. We now have 14 new shades. I believe these are permanent, but I will have a note here in case I am incorrect on that. And uh, now we have a total of 20 shades available on the Chanel website. So there were six shades pre that are pre-existing and they are joined by these 14 new shades. Now, the Rouge Allure packaging, the Rouge Allure lipsticks always have this push style packaging here. So we do have the double C's like we do with the permanent edition uh, Rouge Allure lipsticks. Typically, every you know, J December, January, when Chanel releases these, they typically are in a limited edition case. Like last year we had La Comet, we have had the Camellia um, and so forth. So we've had a variety of different ones every year. So we do have a ton of comparisons. I picked up five of the 14 new shades. We're gonna swatch these. We'll look at some lip swatches and arm swatches. And I also have a ton of comparisons in case you are, you know, in case you already have some of these in your collection or something very similar. Now, as we're looking at these lip swatches, just to give you a little bit of information, as I mentioned, we have 14 new shades joining six pre-existing shades. The six existing shades that are still available on the Chanel.com website are 43 La Favorite, as well as number 56 Rouge Charnel, 57 Rouge Feu, which typically is released every year in one of the limited edition packaging, as well as 58 Rouge V. Those two are kind of classics that we see quite often and 62 Libra and 69 Abstray. And then the rest of the 14 shades are all new. Now, when we're looking at these, we have three and a half grams of product. They now retail for 45 US dollars, which has been the price the last couple of limited edition collections, but it is now the price for the Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks regardless. And these are gonna be made in France with an 18 month shelf life. Just a little bit about the actual formula. According to Chanel, this is considered a luminous matte. And that's because it does have a very thin weightless texture on the lips and you really don't feel much. It's more like adding a little bit of pigment to your lips. You don't feel like a ton of creaminess or like that powdery dryness. There's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of slip and a little bit of a powder texture, but honestly, it's very, very thin. And according to Chanel, this lipstick delivers intense color and wears like a second skin. And they have highly concentrated pigments to create an even long lasting result while soft focus microspheres combine with ultra fine pearly particles for a luminous matte finish. There's also shea butter and jojoba oil in here to uh, provide moisture to your lips. Now, as for me, I do think this is a really nice formula. It is thin, it's weightless. Uh, there are gonna be a little bit of, um, there is a little bit of blurring with these, you know? So I do think that they perform really well. They are long lasting in pigmentation. Of course they will fade over the day. They're easy to reapply or top off with a gloss if you wanna re refresh the color. And overall, I think they're a really nice formula. One of the only real cons, in my opinion, for this, and this is true for all of the Chanel lipstick lines, is that typically their lighter shades are gonna be warm in undertone. So all of their nudes and beige nudes and so forth typically run pretty warm. And that seems true with this collection as well. And then their deeper shades, they run primarily cool. You'll have one or two like warmer reds or oranges mixed in there, but mostly you're looking at cooler tones with the brighter, deeper shades and warmer tones with the lighter shades. And, you know, honestly, most of the lipsticks in this line are gonna be reds or berries or some sort of bright, deep shade. There are not a lot of light, soft nudes. However, keep in mind, last year, Chanel did release a whole bunch of nude lipsticks in the Chanel Rouge Allure in the satin formula. So let's go ahead and move on to the arm swatches. And we're going to start off with number 45, Intense. And this is kind of your bright pink pop. And I thought this would be great for summer. That's really what it makes me think of. 
And I really love, you know, having more of a velvet type finish for any sort of bright color because I feel like there's a little bit less slip with these. They're gonna stay put really long without looking patchy and you don't really have to worry so much about feathering or bleeding and this formula is really great for that. So this is 45 Intense. You can see it's gonna be a nice bright pink. This is actually gonna be more of a neutral pink. It's not really cool, it's not really warm. If I were to compare this to like a fruit juice, I would say it's a mix of a strawberry and a raspberry. You know, smash those up, you kind of have a little bit of that coolness from the raspberry, a little bit of the warmness from the strawberry. That's what this shade reminds me of. Now, moving on, we have 48 Ardent. And this one actually has some shimmer. So you can see a little bit of a golden shimmer or sparkle. I'm gonna leave some space between these. Um, you know, in the bullet, but you can also see a little bit here. So this is really gonna be more of a subtle, and it's got almost a little bit of a metallic glint because of that shimmer in there, but I think it really catches the light nicely. This is gonna be a warmer shade. It's definitely gonna be a bit more of a bright orange-based coral. This is 53 and Sperant or Inspirante, I'm not sure exactly which one's correct in French, but you can see that this one is gonna be more of a cooler tone berry, but it's actually gonna be warm for a cool tone berry. So this one is really truly like a crushed raspberry. So if you take you know, a nice red raspberry, you crush it up, that's the color you're getting here. I think it's a really beautiful shade and it is slightly different from other shades that are similar in my collection because the undertones are a little different. So we'll look at those in a minute. Next, this is the one that's on my lips now. It's 64 Eternel. And by the way, the cases do have the numbers on them, but the actual lipstick here, you know, they have a little number right here as well. It's a little hard to see, um, you know, kind of like the Guerlain Rouge G cases, you just have a little printing on there. So if you do kind of separate your case and your lipstick, you can figure out which one it's supposed to go with. So just something to note there. So this is the one that's on my lips now, and you can see this is gonna be more of your, kind of like a dusty berry. And this is more, a little bit more mauve, and it's a really great, in my opinion, more of an everyday pop. It's a little bit more subtle. It's not quite as bright as the other ones that I picked up. And then last up, I have 71 Rupturiste. And this one is your deeper, more cooler tone berry. You can see this one definitely has a little bit more purple in there. It's more of your traditional red berry, more of a blackberry, crushed blackberry juice um, versus the raspberry that we have here. So you can see these are all gonna be fairly different from each other. And let's go ahead and move on to some comparisons. I have a lot of comparisons that we're going through. We're gonna start off with Chanel lipsticks. And this one here is one of the Chanel Rouge Allure lipsticks. This was a holiday shade a few years ago. It's 847 Rouge Majeste. We're gonna go ahead and put this one right here. And you can see this one is gonna be a bit more red than the uh, 71 Rupture Reese, which has more purple in there. It's definitely though gonna be deeper and more intense than the shade over here, the berry shade, which was, and this was 53 and Sprant. This one here is 137 Porpora Door. And again, this was another one of the lipsticks from a holiday collection. And you can see this is gonna be very, very close. Uh, you know, they are almost a dupe. There is going to be shimmer in Porpora Door, which is not present in Rupturiste, but they're going to be very close. So, you know, I would say they're essentially the same base shade. Another holiday one from a few years ago. This is 817 Rouge Splendide. We're gonna put this one right here, kind of in between uh, number 45 and 48. So 45 again is Intense, 48 is Ardent. You can see that this shade here, Rouge Splendide, is kind of in between. It's definitely gonna be more of a warm watermelon pink, but it's not gonna be as orange or as pink as either of the two that I picked up in the new lipsticks. This is number 617, Camellia Granat. And we're gonna put this one right here. And you can see that this is almost the same 
as the one that I have on now, 64 Eternel. These are gonna be very, very, very close. So if this is one of the ones that you picked up in the past, you probably don't need Eternel unless you are ready for a new version, a new new lipstick. So this was 617 Camellia Granat. This was limited edition. 637 Camellia Porpora. And you can see this one here is going to be a bit more purple than that in Rupturiste. You have a little bit more of that eggplant purple in there. This one is 128 Rose Eclatant. And again, we're gonna put this one right in the middle. You can see that it's going to be relatively close to Ardant, but it's more red. So this again is 48 Ardant, and this one here is 128 Rose Eclatant. This is from last year's La Comet collection. You can see it's gonna be more red. Now my last one for the Chanel, this is 168 Porpra A12, also from La Comet last year. And this one has a little bit of shimmer. You can see oh, this one is going to be very similar to Rupturiste. So you can see that these three shades are pretty close to each other. Now we're gonna take a look at some lipsticks from some other brands. We're starting off with Chantecai's Lip Chic and Orchid. This is from their holiday collection this year. Or was this, not holiday, I'm sorry. This was their fall collection. You can see, again, this formula is different. This is gonna be one of your, um, you know, shiny lipstick lip balm hybrids. And you can see though that the color is going to be similar. This is going to be a little bit softer in pigmentation and it has a little bit more pink in it, a little bit less purple. It's gonna be a little bit lighter in general as well. This is one of the Armani Lip Powers in number 507. And this is a really beautiful bright pop of color as well, but you can see that this is gonna be more red than number 45 Intense. So they both have kind of that same amount of pop, that same level of pigmentation, but this is gonna be more red and a little bit warmer, okay? There's just ever so much, um, a little bit more of that strawberry red in there compared to the shade Intense. Next, we have one of the Merit lipsticks in Fashion, and this is going to be a berry shade. Let's go ahead and put this one right here. And you can see that that one here is gonna be very close to 64 Eternel. It's going to be a little bit different. We have a little bit, it's slightly cooler than Eternel, and it's a little bit more muted. Like it's a little bit softer in pigmentation. You can definitely build it up to get closer to the same level, but it is gonna be just ever so slightly lighter. However, I would have to say that they are really good alternatives for each other. Next, this is the Givenchy Holiday Lipstick in 338. This is in their new Rouge Answer the Intense Silk line. And let's take a look at this one here with um, number 15. 53 on Sperant. So this is Chanel 53. This is Givenchy 338. You can see that they're very, very close. The Chanel has a little bit more red while the Givenchy has a little bit more pink, but they're very, very close to each other. And this is a really great lipstick. Um, you know, I think they're both great formulas. This will be more, it's considered more of a satin matte and the Chanel's gonna feel a little bit drier on the lips than the Givenchy, just ever so slightly, again, because it's more of, it's a little bit more matte, a little bit more velvet than the Givenchy. Next, we have one of my all-time favorite Hermes lipsticks. This is probably my all-time favorite Hermes lipstick. It's number 52, and this is Corel Aqua. It is in the satin formula. I wear this, you know, throughout the summer quite a bit. You can see that this is gonna be a little bit more pink than 48 Ardant, and it doesn't have the shimmer, but, you know, it's pretty close. So if Ardant's a little bit too warm for you, the Hermes is a little bit cooler. This was limited edition, and you can still occasionally see it pop up places, but it is essentially gone. This is one of the Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks from Holiday. This is number 777, and I'm gonna put this, well, let's put this right here. Um, you can see this is gonna be a bit more pink than the Chanel. It's definitely gonna be more pink than Rupturiste, definitely more pink than Eternel. A little bit more purple, though, than Esperant. And overall, really beautiful color and it's a little bit cooler also than Esperant. 
So in general, really great shade. Definitely one that I love. We have a couple more Guerlain Rouge G. These are from the new Red Vanda collection. And these are just different cases here. This is number 918, the uh, Red Ballerina. And let's go ahead and put that one right here. Look at that. So that one's really close to 53 and Sperant. Uh, however, the Guerlain has a little bit more red in it, a little bit less berry. And then this is also from that collection. This is number 966 Red Firestar. Now this is actually a velvet metal. So it does have a metallic finish to it, has a bit more shine to it than the uh, 48 Ardant. And you can see it's also got a little bit more of that brick red to it. It's not gonna be as vibrant as the Chanel. This is one of the Dries Van Noten lipsticks. This is 70 matte. This is called Revised Pink. Let's go ahead and just put that one right there. And you can see how that compares. It's kind of in between Ardant and Intense, definitely closer to Ardant, but it's gonna be more pink. And again, we don't have the shimmer. This is gonna be more of a thicker consistency on the lips. It's more of a creamy velvet versus that thin weightless velvet. I'm sorry, this is Punk Vermilion, I believe, not Revised Pink. Uh, revised Pink's actually more bubblegum pink in comparison to that one. And then last up from Dries Van Noten, we have this one here, which is matte number 80. And this one is a really beautiful deep berry shade. We're gonna put that right here. And you can see this one is gonna have much more of that eggplant purple. It's definitely gonna be deeper and more purple than any of the Chanel ones that I picked up. We are almost done with comparisons. We have three more. This is the Burberry Kisses Formula in 44 Rebellious Rose. And I have to say, I think that, um, well, let's put it right here so we can compare that with Ardant. This is gonna be more pink than Ardant. Um, but they are gonna be pretty close. I would have to say that the Burberry um, formula, their Kisses is going to be a satin formula, but they also have a like a velvet matte formula. It is kind of similar on the lips to the Chanel. So we also have in the Burberry Kisses 97 Pearl Oxblood. This one does have a little bit of shimmer in there, but I believe they have, they have the Oxblood without the shimmer as well. So you can see that this is going to be, again, a little bit deeper, more eggplant in there, and it also has a little bit more red in it than Rupturiste. Not quite as much pink, more of a deeper brick red base in comparison. And last up, we have number 17, TB Orange in the Burberry Kisses formula. And let's see, we're gonna put this at the top. I'll put Ardant right next to that so we can compare those. So here is Ardant. You can see that Ardant is gonna be lighter in pigmentation, has a little bit more pink. TB Orange is definitely gonna be a little bit brighter and just a little bit more of a stronger pigmented orange. So uh, overall, I think those are my best comparisons. I literally went through all of my lipsticks and these are definitely the closest ones that I have. So I hope this is helpful. Overall, I really do like this Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet formula. I think it's a really great formula, and I really like the shades that I picked up from the new colors. I think they're a little bit different from, at least for the most part, than the ones that they have previously released. A lot of times, the colors, you know, I did definitely have a lot of similarities to 71 Rupturies, but for the most part, these are a bit more vibrant, more colorful. And by the way, I did look at all of the Chanel Rouge Allure Lex Dre lipsticks that I have, they all have a much stronger red base than any of the these new Rouge Allure velvets I picked up. Like more, a, a, it's very, very red in comparison. So just something to note there, if you have any of those and you think they might look similar, none of them even came close. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.